Greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman. And I'm kind of in the uh, utility storage room here uh, with all my camping stuff. And uh, if you hear Mrs. Wayman giggling with glee, she's probably watching laughing babies or cute kittens. So uh, that's what she's been doing. And I love hearing her laugh. But um, this is a video going out to Third Proverb, and the video was entitled, God. And I just wanted to say that, uh, before I get into everything about that, uh, I've been pretty busy, and I have a lot of stuff going on with, with friends and family, uh, both fair and foul things. And um, my, my good friends are, are up in uh, Connecticut right now, uh, making some really hard decisions uh, concerning somebody's life, uh, that's on life support, and so my thoughts are with them. And uh, it really gave us all a chance to reflect on uh, life and, and how important friends and family are and how much uh, we need to uh, band together and care about each other uh, during such times, not only in these times, but in the short lifespan that we have. The individual that... Uh, individual that's in such a serious condition uh, six eight months ago we're sitting around a campfire roasting marshmallows with and uh, things just turn for the wars with cancer and so uh, some of the great and terrible decisions uh, you know unfortunately have to be made and it's, it's very sobering so I got my phone here uh, there's they're sending me text messages and updates on what's going on uh, my good buddies up there trying to be supportive and uh, so so all that's going on so I wanted to say uh, to third uh, I'm really glad that you came over that that hump of being angry and, and I've done a lot of videos on that a lot of videos and, and there's a lot of cycles that people go through uh, once they leave uh, belief systems and uh, I hate to see anybody stay in the anger stage, and um, because I, I think even I myself, uh, I was burning up when I left, and I think maybe I wasted a lot of time uh, even in that stage. So, so the whole idea of uh, where I'm at now is the idea of suffering, and uh, especially with what's going on with me personally, but also uh, in the last couple of months. Um, uh, with other people and just thinking about that and, and Bart Ehrman had that book out I don't think he dealt with it very well and what I've been rereading is Jung's uh, Answer to Job by, by Carl Jung and it's been excellent and I, I think that in there uh, he touches on a lot of issues psychologically that people uh, don't think about mostly when it comes to suffering, especially the first half of that really good essay. So, so I think that, I think that pretty much, you nailed, uh, you hit the nail on the head. And um, people are in different places of their lives, and and I think one of the issues that I that I have, especially when my friends uh, sometimes call me. Uh, for advice, I have to remember that I cannot take my anger, my personal anger out uh, of religion uh, on them, which is something that I had to hold back from, especially now with, with social media. Uh, you know how I am. Uh, I'm a big sucker for, uh, you know, getting in debates and politics and all kinds of stuff, you know, philosophy, arguing with people all the time. Uh, but they're there comes a time when it becomes serious, and you have to know, for the most part, when to back down and, and when to say the right things, uh, you know, uh, and, and to be respectful uh, of where people are at at certain points in their lives. And so my beef with religion and the, and the deity, if such a deity exists, uh, and all the philosophy and theology that goes with those, all the wranglings, um, you know, that, that's all me, you know, 
that's all me and I, I feel like I don't need to constantly uh, you know take it out on other people and, and that's another thing that happens with the anger stage uh, you just spill that stuff all over the place but I think that uh, and, and I also hope that you know sister sunshine comes around and sees that too I don't know if she'd watch this video but uh, ever since she left uh, she hit definitely hit that little bit of anger stage and uh, I kind of hope that she comes around and, and it'll take quite a while right now uh, I'm almost uh, you know seeing the benefits of religion uh, and I have for quite some time uh, even when I started getting out of the anger stage seen benefits of religion and I've I've made some videos on that talking about it especially reading my favorite author Joseph Campbell and, and some others because uh, it seems to be uh, maybe uh, a coping mechanism built into the human um, and uh, and it's there so why not use it and that's what I'm saying so I think that uh, even in the play by by the playwright Aeschylus, uh, uh, Prometheus Bound, not only did he steal fire from the gods, uh, but he also implanted in man a false sense of hope. Or maybe some think optimism, or maybe some think faith. So it drives us in dire circumstances sometimes to keep going and uh, the community uh, of that belief system is there uh, to support you and a lot of times people have a hard time if you're not in a belief system it's very lonely and you don't have that kind of support base uh, that's one thing because I, I already know five people when I'm thinking about it uh, that benefited directly from religion uh, and are doing very well and otherwise they would not be able to cope uh, with life in general with, without that help now, now some people you know have that kind of base outside of the belief system that's fine but a lot of people don't you know and, and then vice versa uh, a lot of people in belief systems feel lonely you know but I, I think that um, if you attend a good church and that group is very supportive uh, they could be mean but if that group is the kind of people who are very supportive and very kind and uh, you know try to do the things that are preached in Matthew especially uh, where Jesus discusses uh, what a person should do uh, like feeding people clothing people visiting people that are in prison and sick and when they get to the end and maybe it's virtue and justice asking them if they have done it or they say when have we done it when you have done it to the least of these my people you have done it to me or you have done it to virtue you have done it to justice and, and that's a beautiful thing and if we could only follow that more and, and I don't think that as humans we need to know all the answers and we're gonna have we're gonna have some types of frailties I think and we're not gods and we don't know when fate will lay us low or what fate has planned for us and what we have no idea knowing uh, what time death will arrive at our door but he won't be late he won't be late so I think that like in the Iliad where the great Hector the greatest of Trojan warriors uh, turned and ran three times uh, around the walls of Troy uh, before he turned and faced uh, the raging Achilles and he threw an arrow at Achilles, but it was fated that Hector die. Hector was fully human. He wasn't a half deity like the raging Achilles, and he didn't know his end. So, with the false hope 
or the optimism, or the faith, uh, he was able to muster up courage and at least turn and make an attempt. So, so I think that in life, um, we're all on the river. And we're headed for the waterfalls. And we, and we get practice because we go over little waterfalls. And we're headed for the waterfalls. The big one. And we know it's coming. We hear it's coming. Some people think that they're good at waterfalls. So they're, they're not scared and they could go right over. Some paddle towards it. Some back paddle. And some are fine until they get right up to the edge and look over. And they start freaking out. But in life, we're all going to go over it. And it's been done by all people for all time up until now. And I don't even know how long it'll be before I go over the edge. So I guess we need to float along and enjoy life and enjoy the people around us. Fight a little bit less. Do justice a little more. Have a little more mercy and strive towards goodness and virtue. Just a little more and see where that takes us because I think doing is the key not necessarily always believing and uh, I had some really good conversations with my buddy about that you know about what to do when a person's sick you know do you pray or, or do you try to do something in some way and I'm the kind of guy who would rather do something uh, I don't I don't pray for anybody uh, but but I'll try to help him out, you know. And I think the problem was and with Job, and he lost everything because God maybe suspected him of, of something uh, that Satan, the Satan, or the adversary, uh, uh, put, a, put a speculation in his mind, a suspicion. Um, and, and poor Job was tortured. His friend showed up. But his friends sat around. And what'd they do? They didn't do anything. They philosophized. They talked about philosophy. If Job was righteous. If he wasn't. What'd he do? You know. Job didn't need to hear that. Job needed a cloak. Uh, to cover his naked body. Job needed food to eat. And he needed uh, a place to live. And he needed uh, to be comforted. And, and those things his friends... The wretches that they were. He found they weren't really his friends. Because they didn't do anything for him. And and so that's what I'm thinking now. And, and personally. If the deity did exist. Uh, and I were to go to some divine place. In the hereafter. Uh, I think right now I'd probably. Give a god. Uh, a punch in the jaw. Uh, simply because. Uh, for, for all the suffering. You know, he, he caused. And, and it seems that right now, if such a deity exists, uh, basically, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to clean up his mess down here. And, uh, but, but that's me personally. You know, that's just me personally. So, take care, friends. And remember, if everybody's... <laughs> I haven't done a video in so long, I almost forgot. If everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.